Uh, hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is September 1st, so the first day of the September Lego uh, Challenge. Uh, I'm going to do this for the rest of the month. Uh, yeah, so hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about these farms. Uh, so my format is that usually I just solve these farms live as much as I can. Uh, and sometimes that means that I, I know the answer and I'll do the explanations immediately. But sometimes it might mean that I struggle a little bit. So uh, so let me know what you think about this. Uh, and if you really want just an explanation video, you could probably find one on the internet. So uh, anyway, let's get started maybe when it loads. Uh, okay, largest time for a given digit. Given the number of four digits, return the largest 24 hour time that can be made. Um, okay. So I think there are a couple of ways you can maybe do this. Uh, like you can maybe do some greedy, you can maybe do some playing around. But the first thing to notice is that the length of the number of digits is going to always be 4. And the number of ways to permutate 4 numbers is just 4 factorial, which is 24, right? So we could just test all 24 cases is what I'm saying. Um, and and this that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And then... Um, and then I'm going to try which one and then just try to get the max. Uh, and yeah. And and then, so that's the algorithm part of, of this problem. Uh, and then now I'm going to try to think about um, the implementation part, right? And and in I'm, I'm doing this in Python. So in your language, you may have different things or you just do it recursively. Um, maybe, so... So in Python, there's this thing called iter tools, and in iter tools, there's something called permutations, uh, and that will allow us to. So I'm going to do it that way. Um, but know that you can actually do this recursively, and if you are thinking about interviewing and stuff like that, I would actually recommend you to do it recursively, so that, so that you know, because on in an interview, you you might not just get to use a library function. But for me, uh, I'm going to just abstract that part right now and focus on you know assuming that you have to background to do permutations and there are a couple of problems which you can do to practice your permutations as well so anyway um so i think it's four permutations a eh? um so four uh way in something like that let's just print this out real quick just to make sure that the syntax is right because i don't know if i need to import the header Okay, so this is exactly what we expect and want, right? So that's good. Uh, though it looks like it's a tuple, but, but that's okay. Um, okay, so then now we actually can expand this out to uh, our maybe hour one, hour two, uh, minute one, minute two, something like that. Um, and then we could do hours equal to h1 times 10 plus h2. Um, minute is equal to min 1 times 10 plus min 2, right? So then now we just have to validate if um, 0 is, you know, uh, was it, is it 24? Yeah, 24. Uh, yeah. And, you know, same thing for minute, 0, minute is between 0 and 60. Um, and then we also want to just keep track of a, a sort of a best, right? Uh, which is the max number in terms of time. So if this this is our validation, and if this is true, then that means that we can do um, best is equal to max of the whatever previous best was. Uh, and also, actually, we should set this to negative one because zero is a legitimate time. And if you are given all zeros, then that would just be, give you the wrong answer because you want to be able to return uh, an invalid answer, right? So then we now I I want to just. You know, to make comparison between different times better, I am going to do this thing where I just convert it to minutes, right? Then uh, this is minutes from, you know, midnight or something like that. So then now, uh, at the very end, then we can convert it back um, by returning... Hmm, uh, I'm going to try something new uh, by using F strings. Um, so, so then this is... Okay, so then now let's back it back out, but best... Hour is equal to hour um, divided by ooh, no divided by sixty, and best minute is equal to hour mod sixty. And you can actually, in theory, you can. There's also a. a I, I should be better about this. I've been practicing. You can also do something like this. Called you go hour. Uh, what's it? Mod diff. Something like that. Diff mod. I always. Yeah, I think it's diff mod. Oops. 
uh, just because it's a little bit shorter to write. Um, and then now, uh, now I could just do, you know, best hour or two, uh, two, and then best minute or two. Uh, and of course we do not, um, do the thing that we were saying earlier with respect to keeping track of this. So that means if, oh, and this is not our, this is best, whoops. Um, the, And then now at the very end, if best is less than zero, meaning if it's best of is equal to negative one, we could return just return the empty string. So yeah, so let's give it a go. Let's put in more numbers, um, and just put in more test cases as much as you like. Um, something like that, and then yeah, looks. Good. Uh, so yeah, so let's submit and and cool. Uh, yeah, so this is always going to take over 24, which is a constant time uh, because the input is always going to be four, right? So you could say it's all of one. You could say it's four factorial, you know, on an interview or something like that, just be a six, you know, just, you know, show that you know as much as possible uh, and and yeah, and space is just all one because we only keep track of constant stuff. Um, I think the the lesson to learn here, if you're new to this, is just you know, look at the con the first thing that I would do in, in an interview also, just like ask and think about constraints, right? Um, you know, maybe there's a greedy algorithm where you know you do some greedy stuff and then you try to fit things in and then you play around with it. But if if uh, n is equal to four and all you have to do is just four factorial and then you you know plug in a calculator and it's 24 operations or loops uh iterations you know then just do it the dumb way right uh keep it simple stupid is how i always say it anyway um but yeah uh pretty fun pretty straightforward uh, i hope you enjoyed this problem as much as i did uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button join my discord and hit the follow button because then you know you could watch and chat about the rest of the content, uh, the rest of the month. Anyway, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, I will see you out tomorrow. Bye-bye.